think things are going to change in the next year that we should prepare for as far as just general norms or just any exciting things you see that should be coming up soon? Yeah, so absolutely. Again, as I said, you know, I'm very high on generative AI, right? Now, it's kind of interesting because I see a lot of commentary on LinkedIn and other social media networks, which is really negative, you know, about the generative AI. And yes, there is concern, you know, at some point, does AI take over the world? Does it, take, you know, replace me? I don't think so. However, I think that it is time for humanity to step one level up. And, you know, if we can command and master AI and use it to our advantage, I think it's going to be really, really beneficial, right? So whereas there is a lot of negativity around this concept of, you know, an AI engine writing emails, I think it's also the initial baby steps of this, this phase of automation and artificial intelligence that is coming in, right? And as things improve, so will the outputs. And therefore, I think I'm personally an early adopter, right? I like to adopt technology early. I like to test things out. I'm usually very positive about new ideas that are coming around. So I think people that will grasp on to these new ideas and accept them will have a much easier time in 2023 and beyond than those people that try to resist these ideas. I think that it's time right now, Ethan, to channel these new technologies into a new way of working and into a new way of how we live and how we exchange ideas with individuals and how we perform our tasks. I think that time has arrived right now.